What's up, Mirror here with another Relix video. We are continuing where we left off and we are going to go and speak to Alb Separatist. Then we will continue to Tavar. And we picked up those awesome, awesome glasses. Like, look at this. This is like hacking and stuff. We see through walls. I simp simply cannot explain how awesome this is. Jax. Commander Jax. If someone had told me you would turn up here, I wouldn't have believed it. I heard you were dead. They tried to execute me. I got lucky. Disgraced, but not dead. An exile. Now the great commander stands before me. How times change. So what can one Alp rebel do for another? I need your support. And why should we help you? It seems like we're on the same side, Sestak. The Alps from Zaycor tried to kill me. What do they think of you? The enemy of my enemy is my friend? Isn't the fact that they want us both dead enough reason for us to help each other out? No, that's not enough. Nobody has forgotten your loyalty to the hybrid. You would have done anything in his name. I should kill you here and now, in case you decided to rediscover your loyalty to him. This is an opportunity, Sestak. We should work together. The opportunity to let an enemy infiltrate our ranks? Your narrow-mindedness is the reason you won't succeed. You're thinking like Alps, but you lack their strength. Speak then, Jax. I will give you three chances to persuade us before we decide your fate. You are dependent on Elix. I am not. You can learn from that. You are still tied to Zaycor while you take Elix. Even now, you are taking on a fight only because of your addiction. Elix weakens you. Elix strengthens us physically and mentally. But your emotions weaken you. You are fighting the Alexiters. They are my enemy, too. Someone from Zaycor ordered my execution. Can't you see that our fight is aligned? Yes. Our struggle is not with the Alb people, only with their leaders. The things the Alb stood for, the true vision of our people, these things have been pushed aside since the hybrid appointed the Alexiters. And you were their most faithful servant. You saw to it that the hybrid's word stood above all. You and your brother Kallax worked together to kill all who stood in the hybrid's way. How can I believe you have rejected all that past loyalty? Kallax tried to execute me. And yet here you are alive. Hardly convincing. My experience as an Alb commander can help you defeat the Alb sent after you. They know you as well as you know them. That could be a weakness, and your knowledge of their orders is weeks old. It is useless. Your arguments have failed to persuade me, but I will give you the chance to prove your value where words have failed. And why would you do that? Your survival without Elix, away from Zaycor, is remarkable. You have lasted far longer than I could have imagined. That makes me curious as to how you have mastered the power of emotions and navigated the world of the free people. It makes me wonder what you will do next. I will find Kallax. Kallax is the greatest threat left in Zaycor after the hybrid. His attempt to execute you, if that is what it was, shows he will stop at nothing to see the hybrid's will is done. That makes him the big threat to you, Separatists. That is true. They say he has taken your place. 
and now leads the Alb armies into battle. Then we should fight him together. Your quest for revenge. It feels like an emotional need. And so what? That doesn't change the facts. Revenge clouds the mind. But whatever the facts, it is still too early for us to attack the Alexators directly. And if they find you, then they will kill you. I suggest you stop the Alexators discovering your resurrection. Your raider crashed in Edan. If the Alps there find someone who has seen you alive, then word of your survival may reach Zaykor. You should kill those Alps before they can tell anyone in Zaykor that you are still alive. You think Zaykor doesn't know I'm alive? We have yet to hear any intel that indicates that they have learned of your survival. You want me to kill my old comrades? How many deaths do you have on your hands? Why should it matter that they are Alps instead of the Free People? What does it matter whether you are killing to fulfill the directive, or to stop it? I thought your fight was with the Alexiters, not the foot soldiers of Zaykor. Believe me, I don't like the thought of killing Alps who have not had the chance to think about the truth. But the troops in Edan are not only capable of reporting your presence, but ours too. They threaten our existence. Meaning you want me to take care of your business. You want our help. We want you to prove you share our interests. This will achieve both our aims. I found the thief who stole my armor. So you have recovered your equipment? No, he had sold it on. Then it seems that your ties to Zekar are being cut. You will have to use the equipment you can get from the free people. That is good progress. But there are still some things to take care of. Come back when you have more to report. Very well. Where can I find the Alps in Edan? They are monitoring the converter in Edan. Someday Zekor hopes to reclaim it. I will send the coordinates to your adjutor. I want to get my power back. The power I had as an Alp. Of course you do. You were once the most powerful field commander in Zekor. But as the Elix has drained from your body, so has your power. You will have to find other ways to acquire strength. You cannot reverse that process now. You have changed, Jax. You must accept that change. The free people face destruction at the hands of the Alps. And they are now your only chance of survival. You must learn their skills and perfect them if you or they are to survive. I think your fate is now tied to theirs. Which faction do you think is most effective? They each have their own strengths and abilities. The Berserkers are powerful mages, but they use antiquated weapons and reject most technology. The Outlaws are experts with old world projectile weapons. They have fewer rules and a freer life. If it is technology you seek, then that can only really be found in the hands of the clerics. But no faction will teach you their skills unless you can show that you agree with their way of life, that you are willing to join them. Where can I go to improve my weapons and armor? Try the cities of the free people, or search the ruins of the old world. Whatever you do, you will need to improve the standard of your equipment if you are going to fight the Alps and Edan. I came to enlist your help, not that of the free people. And I am helping you. Now you must do your part. What you mean is you don't trust me? No. Not enough to risk the survival of my people on that trust. Maybe that will change one day. But until then, you must be satisfied with this alliance as it is. How do you justify targeting your fellow Alps? We don't celebrate these deaths. They are sacrifices to a greater cause. You know the Alps and Zekor aren't free. They are blinded by the words of the Alexiters. Their minds are controlled by the hybrid. We separatists will see that influence broken. We will bring all Alps back to the true purpose and meaning of the Directive. All Alps, including you. The Alps are about more than serving the Hybrid and his need to consume all Elix. 
We broke with the clerics to follow logic instead of religion, to achieve the next step in evolution. The logic of this still holds. We must return to our true purpose. Okay, so we have uh, one uh, answer that we can uh, choose based on um, our emotion. So we do not have the cold value to choose this. We can choose this or we have a default question if we do not have enough uh, emotions either way. So let's uh, try this one since we have emotion for that. I am no longer an owl. Your roots will always be a part of you. You cannot escape your past. The highest goal of the Directive is to deliver all Elix to Zekor. That is what they say. But what do they use that Elix for? What were we working to achieve? You know better than I what Elix can do and what risks it carries. With their synthetic implants and all the Elix they have taken, the Elixiters have lost the ability to see things clearly. The will of the hybrid is all that they know. The Albs will be free to evolve again once the Alexiters have been removed. Weakening the Albs means that the free people will come to power. We have our agents and scouts all over Magalan. As soon as one of the other factions could endanger our purpose, we shall move to stop them. You don't have the numbers to stop either the free people or the Alexiters. Our numbers are growing, and we have become very effective in the way we operate. In your time as commander, you proved that effective action could be taken without needing large numbers of troops. That was important to you. How are you planning to weaken the Alps? Our first step must be to shut down the converters. Yes, you're right. Let's destroy the converters and weaken Zekor. And it must be us who does it. We must lead the process that stops the Alexiters. You should be a part of this, Jax. Okay, uh, just uh, to check something out before I accept that. How many did we get? Uh, yes, we get uh, the... Um, the level so i was kind of worried that we are all almost at uh, reaching the next level and we still didn't get uh, that uh, attributes uh, skill and we would basically uh, not get the benefit but since we can uh, finish some more quests and not get the level soon uh, we can accept this the converters must be silenced this is the control code that will stop the Elix extraction program. It will stop a converter from operating, but the code has to be uploaded directly into the central computer of each converter. We will start with this one here, in Southern Abessa. How do I get access to the converter's central computer? You will need to access the converter's control center. That is always located in the upper area of the extraction tower. What can you tell me about the defenses there? Many of the units stationed there have been rotated out in the last few weeks. Our intel is reporting that they have been replaced by combat mechs, drones, and mutants. The civ okay, so we got some experience, but we still have more to go, so it's not a problem to actually uh, finish shutting off this converter. And there's one item that we can pick up. As you can see, we see it through walls and stuff, which is really nice. And we actually do not have to use this elevator, but this one we need to use. Look how awesome this is, seeing through walls. Okay, anything more there? I would have probably missed that health potion if I didn't have these awesome sunglasses. Like this, if I didn't have sunglasses, like 
let, let me just show you if I unequip the sunglasses. Would you have seen that there? Probably not. Like, if you actually walk to it, you would see it, but yeah. So, these sunglasses are the mu must pick item in this game, I think. There are also sunglasses that allow you to see all living things, uh, which are awesome uh, if you are exploring uh, the world and you need to avoid monsters. And they are also good if you uh, want to collect um, plants, since they are also living things and you can see them on the map. And we got ourselves uh, a weapon. And this is a ranged weapon, uh, energy weapon. And it does 40 damage and we need, uh, like, we have intelligence to use it, but we still need a dexterity. And we will get dexterity soon enough, so yeah, we will use that weapon at some point. Something on the other side, new. So there should be some stuff in here. Can we actually unlock it? Let's try. So we need to put in some random numbers and uh, enter. So this now shows which numbers are okay. So first uh, we have we can use five. Uh, maybe in the beginning, then 6, then 7, or 0. Let's try that out. So 5 is okay, and 8 is okay, and 6 is used, but not on this place, so it's on this place. So we can try uh, maybe 7, since we didn't try, and 6. I mean... By the way, uh, numbers can repeat, so yeah. Maybe sometimes you will need to try a few more times to actually unlock it. And uh, we also need to increase the hacking skill um, so we can hack some terminals. This one was easy and we could, uh, could hack, hack it, but uh, there are some terminals that are much higher level and we need to increase our hacking skills. For which I think we need actually intellect, if I'm not mistaken. And got some elixir scanner, and we can actually no, unlock. I'm not good enough for that. What? Let me see something. Do we have lock picking one? It's equipped, and this no, this I'm actually requires enough. three. So we will need to increase our lock picking skills to actually do this. That is why I do not want to loot stuff early on until I actually get my lockpicking, pickpocketing skills and hacking skills. And taking animal trophies also. And then I go on a looting and killing spree. <laughs> For now, not yet. And we can actually disable this converter and we will get, get some experience for that. I hope we didn't get the level. Did we get it? No, but we are close to getting the level. We should be more careful for turning quests before we get uh, the thing. Those that skill skill attributes. That is the next thing thing that I will be doing. I just want to loot this converter first. And there's some NPCs that we skipped kinda, and you can unlock this one. Awesome. We will have to go back downstairs. So, no. is it like this? No. Okay. Okay, maybe this way and then this way. Too easy. Maybe I should have explained uh, how <laughs> this is done, but it, you kind of have to go left and right and uh, get the right combination of the lock and then it, it's going to unlock. 
Yeah, that was the worst explanation that I gave for something. And let's see what we get here. So each converter that we shut down has this kind of spot and there is always a loot there. And we got some Elix drinks, which are the most awesome stuff in this game. Uh, those are the potions that we can craft. Some more loot. Uh, did I miss something? It's much easier to loot at night, by the way, since uh, these glasses, uh, when they mark something on map, uh, it's my way, way easier to see something. Uh, so let's uh, go back. I wanted to... Oh, I climbed there. Didn't expect that. Uh, there were some NPCs downstairs that we can trade with. And I want to get some recipes for crafting. Mm, those are my markers. So the NPC should be one level, level down. Come on. And there's an NPC. I want to hit uh, F5. What goods have you got? Okay, so uh, the most important thing that I want to buy are those three recipes. Uh, these are the most important thing to get in the game because uh, you will be able to increase your uh, stats and your skills by a lot by crafting these uh, elix potions. So, uh, if uh, you're getting them, don't forget, it's here on map, here at this uh, converter, in Southern Arbessa, at Separatist place, and where's my... Have a good day! What? Where did I go? Come on, man. Make sure you get those potions when you're playing. What goods have you got? You can get them... Uh, somewhere in the world i did get them somewhere in the world on first try and you will need this natural elix if you want to craft those potion and let's buy uh this from this guy and we're done next thing that i want to do is go back to goliath and uh, learn that attributes skill at crafting trainer, uh, oh, actually at charisma trainer, and I got uh, on the wrong teleport. It's closer from this one. <laughs> and look at this, L just look at this. I mean, would you know there was a chalice there? I cannot keep praising enough those glasses. So, let's speak to her. Teach me something. Of course. Where is the thing? Yeah. Give me that. And we also want to learn maybe like bookworm not because it's bugged maybe this and maybe uh huggler uh and let me see we can also do attributes points so we increase the charisma it's kind of not that useful to get it if you're getting canning to get just this but uh you want to increase charisma because uh you can use it in conversations and usually it will give you some money or some easier uh, progression through quests so it's kind of a good thing to get it but we uh, need uh, to get you? either a level or craft potions but definitely need a level first since uh, to actually craft the potions we need to get um, so if we go to crafting, we go here, so we need 15 dexterity. Maybe we can get it, let me see. Uh, so if we go here, at potions, and uh, do we have an uh, elixir drink? We have one. 
<clears throat> and we have one strong, we will use that one. That This one gives, gives you a skill point, and this one gives you an attribute point, and the small one gives you experience. But you can turn that small one, which gives you only 100 experience. Well, on this level, 100 experience is not uh, wasteful to drink this potion. Mm. 100 experience it's a lot on this level but as you progress uh, you will need more and more and more experience for the each next level and then those potions are useless so uh, you want to craft these potions and you can actually in, uh, from these small ones you can make the big one and you want to do that so this Elix drink and the strong Elix drink, you should drink them, but small ones you shouldn't drink. And we got ourselves two attribute points, which are we, we are going to put them uh, towards uh, dexterity. And <laughs> those NPC interrupted me talking that this is a berserker town, they will always do that. So we want to get uh, next level, then we will go back here and basically go on a looting spree. Uh, and let me see what we are go doing next. Okay, so we... We can uh, finish something or go to Tavar. I really, really want to go to Tavar. Um, let's go to Tavar. So we are, we are going... Take it to the pit. Here uh, and then you have no idea here. what is really going on. Actually, that here. is pretty suspicious. So let's teleport here and I wanna get to Tavar and do maybe a few quests there and then we will uh, basically have to I will have to stop recording since uh, I have to eat something. I'm hungry. And we got some note. Let's read it. Okay, so he was here, whatever. I don't know what that is about until we actually find the quest or something. I do not think I actually picked that up first time. So, I don't know. And. A dead land full of crazy people. Welcome to the desert of Tavar. Okay. <laughs> now looting gets way easier. Now we can see that there are some loot behind. And we get it. I mean, do we do, we would probably miss that metal scrap if we didn't have the glasses. To be honest, you should just if if you I will make a separate video for the glasses where to find them. And if you watch that video and you know where they are, just skip all the quests and run and get them and then start doing quests. <laughs> it's going to save you so much trouble on picking up stuff. I want to put some markers just so we know where we're going. So I want to open that teleporter there um, because we will need to go there later on. Once we actually have some decent weapon to kill stuff. Yeah, I won't kill every bug in the game and every rat. I did say I would, but... It's kinda annoying to do it. And... Okay. Those stuff uh, doesn't get marked. We need different glasses for that. And you should be watching out, because there are mines that blow up. Okay. I think Duras will kill it pretty easily, so... I don't know, I'm wasting arrows here. Okay, let's continue. Hmm? Okay, nothing that important.
There's actually that hut, as you can see there. And there's a guy there. Are you trying to get yourself killed? You should stay well away from the converter. You won't last two minutes in that place. What are you doing out here? I'm a scrap collector. You know, salvage. Old world stuff. Dangerous business, even this close to that place. But one look at the converter tells you there's gotta be prime salvage just waiting in there. A ton of profit. And you survived? Well, I've found a few ways to dodge those owl bastards. Such as? Well, I did some looking around and I found an access tunnel. It runs right into the command section of the converter. So, I snuck in at night and pumped radioactive gas into the pipe. That was a party, I'm telling you. The Albs still haven't found out how to clean the area. <laughs> you tried to sabotage the converter alone? It's keeping those Albs busy. Means they're less likely to bother me. Managed to get some military circuit boards out of there. That'll pay for a few months of food. But if you doubt my word, go there yourself and take a look. Or wait, I have something better. You could take a look and earn us both some profit. Profit? Yeah. <laughs> Listen up. They should have a piece of equipment up there that I could really use. An energy amplifier. It looks like a small crate. If you can get into the command section and find it, there'd be profit in it. But hey, you don't want to get messed up by that gas. We have protective helmets in the fort that can protect you from the radiation. Understood. Okay, so we got a new mission. And I think this guy is actually going downstairs to that shack or whatever that is. And there is basically not that much that can be looted here, but anyway. Okay, there he is, so we know where to find him. And we should open the teleporter to the converter, but I do not actually want to go into the converter yet, since uh, there are some mobs and I do want to kill them later on. So let's just open the teleport and then we go we will go to Tavar. There is the thing. Nice. So let's go back to the road. So, uh, let's, uh, we need to go here, maybe we should open this teleporter since it's uh, kinda along the way. No, 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 no. It's really hard to resist going into some random places. If it was on normal difficulty, I probably would. But on this difficulty, you get one shot at but by everything. And I want to get better equipment before I start exploring. And there's the fourth. 
Oh. No, 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 no. Do not attack me. It's nice thing that you get a warning before they attack, so we can run off. But sometimes you are way too it's close. Like a giant child's toy. I wonder what it was for. Mm. What did he? Okay, let, let's actually kill this mob. So we need to help Duras so he doesn't get down on the ground. Do not run. Come on. Now we will pull even more mobs. If we continue this. Okay, come back, come back. Uh, I know what, wh why this is happening. Because mob uh, cannot go... Uh, basically above uh, this... So he needed to go around this bunkin. I, if it's called that, I think. By the way, guys, let me know in the comments if this thing is uh, called a bunkin or uh, if there's some different word for it. I mean, this ra railing, I think it's railing. Yes, it's railing. Or maybe there is some other word for it. You probably guessed by now that in my English is not my first language. So I want to improve it. And there's a teleporter that we want to open. Nice. Now let's go back to the fort. I could actually actually run to this one. Yeah, let's go to the fort. I want to open as ma as many teleporters in a, as I can uh, along the way, since we will need to explore, and uh, we will have quests that uh, leads us there. So it would be useful to actually open it, but. Since we can teleport to this teleporter, then run to the next one, it's not a big deal. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, I thought it was a rock. <laughs> If we managed not to stand on it. And we found some dead guy. Okay, did he have a note or something? I think he didn't. But let's just check. No, 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 he didn't have a note or something. He's probably for some quests in he, since uh, he has a name. So, yeah. These mines look so much like rocks, and <laughs> if you step on it, you are getting screwed, big time. I don't think it will one-shot us, well it's alter difficulty, I do not want to try that out, but I, I stepped on a quite few mines on my first playthrough, and they hurt a lot, so avoid them. Ew. I 
didn't know that was there. There's some bones there, but who cares? Okay, so I wanna open the teleporter and then we will end this video. Some more scrap and I do not want to talk to Ray yet. We will do that in the next video. Is there something up above? Yeah. Come on. Is this like inside or something? Or on, or on the side? What? Interesting. It's really interesting that I managed to loot it. <laughs> it's been it. Can we loot it? Now I'm kinda interested. Probably no. It's interesting that we managed to loot the first one. No, we cannot loot it. Yeah. Okay, let's open the teleporter. And I will go back to Ray and then F5 and we will continue from there. Okay, this is all for this video and see you in the next one.